we have got so many more topics from from the crew, the Sweet Sixteeners. I hate the fact you call them that. It's awful, isn't it? It is. <laughs> By proxy, because you hate that, I'm going to carry on doing it. <laughs> oh, hello and welcome back to the Three Minute Sixteen <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, my name is Zeke Hidden. Joining me, as always, is Podplay Gen Pod, and um, I am really looking forward to digging into the many comments and topics that you've left in the past few weeks. Oh, we've got some good ones, Jen, and they're fairly mental, as usual. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> like, really, though, these are gonna kind of whatever you're expecting. It's even weirder than that. Oh god, you don't want to know what I'm expecting. What's the best you're hoping for? <laughs> there is no best. There's no best case scenario in this. <laughs> there really isn't. Let's do it. <laughs> As suggested to us by Christopher Ford of the Great Divide podcast, which would be the worst thing to have chasing you with the intention of eating you? A. A gigantic snake with jet propulsion. <laughs> or B, a spider the size of an Alsatian that could teleport. Oh my god, there's no contest, is there? I wouldn't have thought so, but I think the important question that needs asking is which one is more tameable to ride as a steed? <laughs> Look, all you've said is the words Alsatian-sized spider that can teleport. I don't need any more discussion on this one. No, it's got to be that, hasn't it, really? I don't want that chasing me, are you kidding me? Well, the thing is, the jet propulsion snake, if it launches at you from, like, 40 metres away, you sidestep, yeah. it misses. Yeah. And Chris is saying, like, what's the worst thing to have chasing you? A spider that can teleport isn't chasing you, it's just there. There's no chase involved. Well, that's true. What if it just, like, teleports on your head? <laughs> well, then you would need to get a gigantic Alsatian-sized cup and an Alsatian-sized bit of paper and throw it out of an Alsatian-sized window. Ha ha. How fast is this jet propulsion snake going? You, you have to wonder. What breed of snake is it as well? Because if it's not venomous, if it's mm. just like a grass snake or something... You wouldn't really care, would you? Not at all. Not in the slightest. Mm. Like you just say, go like, shut up. Yeah, shut up! Shut your stupid engine up. Yeah, go go propulse somewhere else. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes are the angriest of all the balloon animals, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, I really like snakes, actually. I would totally own a snake. I bet you wouldn't like jet power bonds, though. If I could tame it and ride it as a steed, that would be fine. <laughs> That would be amazing. I'd love that. I'd ride it like a little luck dragon from Neverending Story. I think it's depending on how good these snakes are, we might not need those things that they're sending to that planet because <laughs> how good might, they are. <laughs> they might just get there. What the uh, the Proxima B planet? Hmm. If they can go faster than a quarter speed of the of speed light. of light, yeah, yeah, then you know, send the snakes. How long would that take? Twenty years? Yeah. It's not too long, is it? Not for snakes. Do they, do they live long? What, snakes? Yeah. In in space? In space? I imagine they'd probably live forever. <laughs> magical space snakes. Jet-powered magical space snakes. Oh, there's a children's series there. <laughs> I thought of it first. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. YouTube wouldn't let us make ad revenue off it anyway. Well, that's true, no, because it would be both violent and offensive. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chris. Mentalist. <laughs> <laughs>